The car section is the hardest part about the MCAT. Most students score lower on this section than any other section. And there is statistical data that backs this up if you go to the MCAT's website. Yet, you see most students not study for this section, if at all. This begs the question on whether or not you can even prepare for it. Hey guys, my name is Jack Weston, and today I'm going to answer a very common question I get. Can you study for the car section of the MCAT? Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. The reason why I think most students prevent themselves from taking cars practice or cars preparation seriously is because they're not used to studying for cars. If you think about it, most students who take the MCAT have already gone through two years of pre-medical courses that focus on the sciences. So they're very used to studying for physics or chemistry or biology or biochemistry or psychology or sociology. But there are no courses on cars, except if you consider English 101 a course. There are no courses that show you or teach you the skills necessary to succeed on cars and I would say this also applies to all of MCAT because I think the entire test is cars. The whole test is changing and becoming more of a reading test. And content is less and less important on this test. So how do you study or how can you study for the car section? There are specific skills I teach students in my course and that you can start applying to get better at cars and the entire test. Some of those skills are very easy, like looking for ideas or summarizing things that you understand. Even understanding question types is a skill, right? And then some of the other skills are harder, like how to finish on time. But at the end of the day, all of this is possible as long as you are honest about what you're weak on. Instead of putting it under the rug and trying to avoid the problem, address it. Be honest about why or what you're not good at. And if you can get rid of that mentality, oh, I can't ever improve, you're going to start improving. So yes, you can study for the car section. It's probably one of those sections where studying helps you the most, right? You could study physics and chemistry and improve, but if you study cars, you can improve even more. And you'll always have a friend or a classmate that'll say, oh, this is not a section you can study for. It's impossible to study for. They're onto something. It's not easy to study for cars, and especially in a limited time window, right? You can't study for it in two weeks. And that's why I always tell students, make sure if you are weak on cars, if you're not naturally gifted at cars, you start earlier. Even if you're an ESL student, even if you never read a book in your life, you can definitely do well on cars because it's all about critical thinking and using skills to think more about what you're reading. And once you acknowledge those skills, once you work on them by practicing often, you'll develop a sense for what you'll need to do. You'll recognize the pattern of this exam and you'll have a strategy, whether it's a strategy that I teach in my course or some other strategy, you'll have a very consistent approach to this test. So please don't make that mistake of thinking, I can't study, I'll just wing it. That will not work on cars. You can improve, especially if you start early. If you need help with cars, you can check out my online test prep company, jackwesson.com, for endless passages that you can study. Or if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll answer it. If you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, subscribe to the channel, and tell people about it. Thank you for watching.